What's up guys, my name is Anton Suarez. In this video, I'm gonna show you how AI can handwrite a document using a 3D printer. Now, we're gonna be using ChatGPT, which I had it write me a little short story about Linux, and uh, then it wrote a giant story about Linux, and I had it shorten it for, you know, for this tutorial. And then we're using a tool called 3DWriter.io that will take text and then turn that text into G-code. Once it's in G-code, we can put it into Cura, and then you can have the 3D printer, instead of extruding plastic, you can use this mount that you 3D print first, and then put a pen in it. I will be including the slicer settings down below. It'll be hosted on Google Drive. You can download it. So that part will be taken care of. All you would have to do is put in the starting and ending G-code, and then you should be pretty good. Um, just minor adjustments as you do it. And I'll show you in a second once I switch the camera on. Um, basically, this uh, mechanism right here actually tilts. You'll tilt the pen out of the way, let the arm and on the uh, X and Y get to position, then you can tilt the pen down and then it'll start to write. And put it in the comment section down below. I can make a separate tutorial on how to draw. It's a little bit more intensive with uh, Inkscape, uh, getting a vector and kind of converting that into G code. It's a little bit different. Uh, I haven't found an easier solution yet like uh, 3D Writer where this will just make the G-code for the, the font. Um, for pictures, it's a little different, but I definitely think I'll make a video on that as well. So to get started, first you would 3D print this mount with your 3D printer, and then you get two other inserts, one for a small pen and one for a larger marker. You could use a Sharpie. So once you have that, then you'll get your text. So for this example, we're going to uh, have this little st little uh, short story that uh, ChatGPT wrote about Linus, the uh, creator of uh, Linux. So I have put that into our 3dwriter.io. I will download our G code. I have a few files. So I will load up G code here uh, in Cura, and I'll minimize this now. And uh, this is what I'll be providing in the description below, this pen settings. So this is the slicer settings. It basically disables um, the extruder, the uh, traveling, the cooling, a bunch of different settings gets disabled because we don't need to have the heated plate on or, or the fan running because we're not actually you know 3D printing in the uh, traditional sense. So we will load up our G code right here. We'll say open. Now it'll tell you that the G code is not suitable and you, you won't get a preview really. I mean, you'll get a, a rough idea based on kind of where the location of the pen is, and then you can kind of get an idea of where, of how it's gonna look. So uh, I have to just test this out and see if I actually don't go over the build plate. I don't think I will. I'm gonna use a piece of plain paper. Um, it'll start and then it will finish towards the end, but you see how there, it's actually probably gonna go over the build plate. So we will adjust its size, I think and bring it down a little bit. And I'm gonna re-export it right now. That looks okay. That should be okay. All right, so I think that should be better. Um, I'm gonna switch the camera on now and I will take you to the 3D printer. Okay, so this is the printer setup and basically this is the pen mount. That's the M4 screw right back there. That's our pivot point, so that doesn't get, too, it gets tightened down, but just enough where this can pivot, because if this is down, it will interfere with the bed and bed level in process. So basically from here, um, I'll have the pen tilted up in a way where it won't interfere, and then on the computer itself, I will just press print via USB. Now just to load paper, we just place the paper on the print bed, just like that. Nothing too special. And all I'll do is print, and I'll do print via USB. So just like any other 3D print, it will auto bed level. And then to get the pen to adjust, we're just gonna flip the pen down in the beginning here to have it start to write. Just like that. The G code we generated with the uh, 3dwriter.io uh, has been turned into G-code that the, the printer can use. And, and with this pen mount, it's, it's pretty easy to adjust because now the first time you do it, you really just have to get the pen to touch the bottom of the uh, print bed. And then with the angle that you can tilt, you can tilt the pen towards the printer, almost towards the extruder. And once it's tilted enough, it basically has enough pressure to write like a regular pen. 
And so I'll speed this up and I'll have a, a little time lapse here of, um, you know, of this finishing up this little uh, paragraph that we, uh, we wrote with ChatGPT and uh, are printing out on a 3D printer. All right, so this is just about to finish up here, and uh, we'll take it off the printer. If you abort the print, it will actually draw a line across the page. It won't pick up the pen. Um, when it finishes it naturally, though, it will um, pick up the pen almost like if it was the extruder, and it shouldn't, um, it shouldn't draw a line. Yep, it picked it up. And this is our finished product. I'll try to get it without a shadow. But that's our finished product. Um, it did cut off at the edge there. Um, just something you can adjust. I should have probably moved it over just a little bit more to the left and it would be more centered on the page. You can have it right from top to bottom if you align it right and have the right scaling. Um, you could have it where it would write the entire page down. It'll take a little bit of time. This took about five minutes to completely write it out. But this is really awesome. I really like that kind of the full circle of chat GPT right out of paper and then you have your 3D printer hand write it out for you. You can really have your AI write your homework and then hand write it out. Um, I wouldn't submit this to a teacher because I don't think anyone really can prove they have this good handwriting, but I think it's a really, really cool implementation of, of what AI and G-code 3D printing is, is really capable of where uh, we're able to, to set this up. So leave it in the comment section below. What do you think about this? I think it's awesome. I'm gonna definitely be playing around with ChatGPT and AI more, it's come, you know, AI tools have come such a such a long way in the last couple of years and then in the last six months with the release of ChatGPT. Uh, we're really seeing what mainstream AI looks like and then what Google will be releasing and what Microsoft will be releasing. I think it's just going to keep getting better and better in the, in the next couple of years. So as always, my name is Anton Sueras. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.